I think it's just wonderful having females at the, at the epicenter of these fantastic horror films. I mean, and you know, there's been so often that women were used as bait in these horror movies or used as like, you know, some sort of gratuitous relief for the male audience. And now they're here and they're taking control and they're at the epicenter of all of it. And it's just, it's just a wonderful thing to see. I mean, there's, there's themes of taking control of one's own body. There's themes, I mean, obviously deep religious themes in this film. There's themes of feminism and, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Give me five minutes and I'll come up with a few more. <laughs> There's loads of little moments of symbolism in the movie that kind of echo the beginning. The opening scene is also an homage to the first movie. All of our fantastical deaths and crazy, you know, uh, violent moments are all very much thematically a nod to the original. So it's a lot of fun. They're like Easter eggs, you're gonna find them. That's the way horror films should be enjoyed and experienced is with a bunch of people who are equally and mutually terrified with you. I mean, it's the best thing. It feels really good. I've just got off the plane. I'm a little bleary, but it's summertime here, uh, and it's great. I love making the movie. We made it in Rome. I love Nell Tiger Free. She's just sensational. She's my new favorite thing, and we had a great time, and I'm looking forward to seeing her, and everybody is excited. Good versus evil. I mean, it's pretty simple, and uh, I can't tell you too much without spoiling it for you uh, in terms of the, the major theme. But yeah, really, it's just designed precisely. Someone who saw it in London said, quote, I was traumatized. Well, that's pretty much what we're shooting for. So if you want to get traumatized, it's not so much about the themes, it's more about the trauma being stunned by horror. The people that like to make an appointment with fear actually pay money to get, to get you know, scared. It, it's it, what better than to do it with a lot of other people because then you know then it's like then it's like frightened squared you know what I mean then it's a collective howl of horror amazing I'm really happy to be here and really excited as well and yeah I can't wait to see all the cast members all the people and get to watch the movie so amazing I'm really happy to be here I don't think we would have the movie we have without Arkasha directing it. She just has this special vision, special sensibility that adds everything to the story. I mean, it's the best place to, to enjoy a movie. And of course, you see when it's a horror movie, it's just so much better to share it with other people. So I really encourage everyone to go see it in theaters. I mean, there's new characters like mine, <laughs> uh, but of course we, I feel like we give the original film so much more fa further context and also I feel like we answer to some questions that may rise when you watch The Omen and I just hope people go to watch The Omen, my generation that probably doesn't know it, after they watch a movie as well. Yeah, so I think a lot about this movie is about um, repressed intuition and trauma. And, um, and how that resurfaces. I think that it's, um, you know, a lot of this is kind of similar to repulsion in the sense that it's a woman coming undone and trying to differentiate between what's real and what's not real, what's trauma and what's not. And what's yeah, just, yeah, it's a film that centers on birth, so it, it really is all entirely kind of centered on the female body and our main character Margaret's experience going through this journey. So. We've got some pretty big swings, I feel like, in this movie, and it's really nice to have the communal experience when you discover those scenes and those shots. Yeah, once it gets going, it's pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely meant to be enjoyed in the theater. It was really exciting once you got past the nerves because there was so much room given to us to create another world. Um, and I think also because we're so reverent to the original, we didn't want to recreate that. So. Yeah, it's incredibly exciting to contribute to the legacy of the Yom, and it's, it's a historic franchise, it's one of our favorites, so to be a part of that history is so special. Well, the point of this movie was to hopefully answer a few questions, but then for me, as an Omen fan myself, it seemed to open a whole new box of questions, so it's just, an, it can, continues to be an exciting exploration into the Omen franchise, I feel like. Yeah. I think everyone wonders how Damien was born, like I said, and anybody who's familiar with the original, there's all kinds of homages and throwbacks, so it should be a lot of fun. All I can say is that I worked with amazing people, creative people that have done an amazing job. 
I think it's art, and art speaks for itself. I think, uh, my opinion, it's an important movie, especially now. Uh, it's more of a psychological sort of film than a horror. That's my opinion. It's scary, nonetheless. Terrifying, obviously. Um, yeah, Patrick Troughton, such an iconic performance. And uh, the part was also played by Pete Possleswaite in the remake in 2006. He's a big acting hero of mine. So, yeah, it was a double whammy, really, of, of intimidating actors to, uh, to take their role. Uh, it's a lot about uh, body autonomy for women and uh, about the power of fear and the power of belief, um, I think, and what that can, can twist the human mind to accept and believe, yeah. I think everybody understands the aesthetic, the world of the Catholic Church and God, the devil, the, the aesthetic of it is just so universal, really, now. And so, yeah, everybody's kind of scared and freaked out by that. So to see it all together in a, in a theatre is the way to watch a movie like this, definitely. Very exciting. It's been a long road to get here, so looking forward to showing the movie to audiences for the first time and having people, you know, jump out of their seats. There's a lot of different stuff. Obviously, institutional power, um, you know, control of women's bodies, uh, just, you know, faith and how it can pervert and can corrupt, and, you know, there's a lot of other stuff as well. But I think those are the three that, you know, probably work their way to the forefront the most. Well, obviously, we have a big tie-in towards the end of the film, which uh, I'm sure audiences can guess. But uh, we also have some characters, you know, that flow through our film into the original. We have Father Brennan, played by uh, Ralph Ineson in our film, and Patrick Troughton in the original. Uh, we have a character, Father Spoleto, who goes on to be in the original film. We have a couple, you know, fun callbacks to some of the carnage and mayhem that happens in the original film. So I think for fans of the original, they're going to get a ton. And I think also for people who haven't seen it, you know, I think when they make their way to the original, they're going to realize some of the stuff that, you know, that we've homage to, and, and but also put our own spin on it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, there's some big moments of, I think, boundary-pushing shock and awe. Um, that I think just don't hit the same when you're at home on your couch. So, you know, when you're in a packed theater on a Friday night, you get to feel, I think, the electricity that comes through the crowd. And I think we definitely have those moments that feed the crowd. Um, it's so exciting. I mean, this is my first one of these. So, yeah, it's very overwhelming. I'm from New Zealand and being here in L.A. is like wild. <laughs> I think we just lean very much into celebrating women but also the fears that we have as women and what it is like to be a woman so yeah it's a it's a strong female crew so we definitely talk a lot about women body autonomy um, conspiracy there's there's a lot interwoven in it's more than just your kind of jump scary horror film uh, as you can see I mean horror is the best I feel like you, the energy and the atmosphere and just being with so many people, it's it what makes it, so it's very exciting.